weird. The candle isn't as bright as it usually is. Isabella, did you hear that? Grandma Elma said the candle isn't as bright as it usually is. Oh, that makes a lot of sense because I haven't been creating that many flowers lately. I wonder what's happening. For some reason, I can't lift up some of the furniture pieces. Wouldn't it be nice if we all had candles? Yeah, the light would be stronger, wouldn't it? Yeah, but Grandma has a specific candle. Uh, let me see what I can create. Caboodle fans, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making candles. Not just any candles, and canto inspired candles. You're gonna need some glass jars. I have different shapes here that come in the kit. I've got different colored waxes, yellow, blue, red, pink, and this light peach color. It's so tiny, it almost looks like sand or salt. You also need a wick and a wick holder. That's what you light on fire for the candle to burn. And we're also gonna need a shaping stick. This is gonna provide some cool cool designs for our candle. We need more candles to help Grandma Elma. All right, let's get started. We've got string and these holders to make the wick. What you're gonna do is let's take one of them and let's thread this through the hole. It might be a little bit tight and we're just gonna leave it flat. Let's do the rest. All right, last one. We're gonna take our glass holders for our candles. We're gonna put them down right here. Go ahead and put each one at the bottom of the glass and I'm just gonna press them down. So this is what they look like so far. Kind of funny looking right now. Let's pick out the wax colors that we wanna use for our first one. The first one, I'm gonna do Mirabelle inspired. I'm gonna do red, blue, and yellow. For her, I'm gonna do the square one. I'm gonna start with this yellow wax. So I'm gonna just cut a small hole at the very corner and very slowly, let's see, I'm gonna move this wick in the middle. Very slowly start pouring your wax kind of beads right in your glass container. Just go around, make sure everything is even on all sides. Use your stick to make different designs or to kind of flatten it out. Make sure it's nice and even where you want it to be. Next wax color, we're gonna do this blue. All right, let's start pouring this in. It's gonna be very interesting to see if the wick is gonna light up with this wax. So I'm gonna add the red one as our top color and pour that all the way up to the top. Make sure to evenly distribute the wax. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the other side of our stick and I'm gonna just make some really cool designs. So just go ahead and poke through and then the, our other colors will come down. That's gonna be really cool. Let's do this side too. And last one, this is what it looks like. I love it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut the wick. So now it's nice and short. Our first inspired Mirabelle candle is done. Next up, let's do Isabella. I'm gonna do this little one for her. And the colors, we don't have purple, but we do have this bright pink. We've got this peach color. So just two colors for her. I'm gonna start out with this bright neon pink one and start pouring that in. I'm just gonna do a little bit and flatten that out. Up next is this peachy color one. So I'm gonna do every other. So bright pink, peach. So just kind of a two-tone color candle. It's gonna really match our Isabella colors. Let's see, this one's gonna look really cool. And flatten that out a little bit. And some more peach. And I really want that bright pink to be at the top. And last color. All right, carefully pat that down. And let's go ahead and cut this wick carefully. Try not to pull it up. Cool, I'm not gonna make any cool designs because I kind of want them to be striped for Isabella, but how awesome did this one turn out? And now that we have these two candles done, let's go ahead and do Louisa inspired. She gets the biggest one. I might have to use all of the colors, but what I wanted for her was this blue wax, this red wax, and maybe like a peachy wax. What do you guys think about the colors? Let's get started. So let's go ahead and start with the red. I'm gonna pour the whole entire bag in here. All right, hopefully we'll have enough for this candle. Up next, I'm gonna pour this whole one of our peach 
in here and adjust your wick too. I really wish they had purple, but we're gonna do this blue one at the very top. And look at that, we had just enough wax for each of the candles. And for this one, I'm just gonna poke through the blue. Make a really fun design with that. And last little poke. This is what this one looks like. Cutsy cutsy. Now we have a Louisa inspired candle. So now that we've made these candles, let's see if they actually light up. Please make sure a parent is doing this next step. All right, let's go ahead and light these candles. Again, adult supervision is required. I just wanna see what it's gonna do when it gets down to the wax part. And look at that, the wax is melting around it. All right, let's put this one down and do Isabella's candle. I'm gonna go ahead and light that. It's burning down, now it's really melting. Let's do Mirabelle's, our last one. Go ahead and light that. Do, 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 do. Gotta be very careful with fire. Oh, I think it's gonna go out. So if it does that, parents, go ahead and light it again. Make sure it melts that wax. Our last candle to be lit. Which candle do you like? We have Louisa, Isabella's pink one, and Mirabelle's colorful one. They all look so cool. Again, adult supervision is required at all times when the candle is lit. Never leave the candle unsupervised. All right, Capital fans, thank you all so much for watching this DIY candle making. This was so much fun, and it truly does melt the wax, and it works. The wick, the fire, and the wax work together. Now we each have a candle. Yeah, but I don't think that'll help Grandma Alma. Well, it was worth a try. When you're not using the candles and not supervising them, make sure to blow them out.